Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be talking about creating and cloning a GitHub repository with VS Code. Let's get started. So GitHub is a popular platform for version control and collaborative coding. Now by utilizing GitHub with VS Code, we're going to easily be able to manage our code, track our changes, collaborate with others. Now throughout this tutorial, we're going to guide you through the process of creating up a GitHub repository, cloning it with your local computer using VS Code, and we'll just kind of go on through that. So the first thing that you're definitely going to need here is, and if I go here and I just go to github.com, I'm already signed in, but you guys at least need to have a GitHub repository. Okay, and I'll zoom out a little bit here. All right, that's the first thing you need. Now you also need to have Visual Studio Code. Okay, and you guys can go on and download that as well. And then the third thing that you're going to need is you're going to need, and these are old here, and I'll actually, uh, I'll close this down for now. And then another thing that you're going to need is you're going to need a uh, Git on your uh, computer as well, okay? And you can go to their official site to download that as well. So if I do Git help, and again here I can see I definitely have Git on here. So that's going to be the first thing, okay? Now, to co the first thing we really want to do is to go over to our repositories, and we're going to click this. Uh, again, this is when you sign in. Okay, If you just go straight to GitHub, you sign in, this is basically what you're going to see. You're going to want to create up a new repository, so clicking this new repository tag. And then you're going to want to create up a repository. So you want to maybe put in... <clears throat> some repository name. So something like uh, my first uh, repo. Okay, so for a repository. Then a description, this is optional. Okay, uh, and so maybe a brief description of the project. Uh, this is my first repo. Okay, and then it would be, you want this to be public or private, okay? If you want people to be able to see it, you want to be able to share it with people. Uh, you would probably want to make sure that it's uh, public, okay? Um, now, again, private is if you're the only one that you want people to see unless you invite someone specifically. The next is initializing a readme file. And we want to check this box. It'll create a readme file for us. And this provides us with an overview of our repository and is a good starting point for your project. So we're just going to go in and click it. And what it will do is it'll actually populate it with this description for us. Okay, and then uh, we're going to ignore all of this other stuff for now, but we can uh, tell it to get ignore things. We can choose a license if we want to, but for now we don't really need any of these things. So let's go on and click create repository and it will go on and create up a repository for us. Now our new repository is created, and you should see uh, a basically this like nice little setup going on here, okay? Now the next thing that we would want to do is to, again, we would want to be able to get it onto our computer, but if we want to do this with Visual Studio Code, we need to actually go on over and launch Visual Studio Code, okay? And we're going to want to get some extensions. so. We can press this little uh, sidebar here to see the extensions. Uh, alternatively, I believe you can do something like Control Shift X, and it opens it up as well. And now you see here I have a bunch of stuff installed. But for now, what we would want to do is get the GitHub extension. So if we just type in GitHub here, and you can see, and I'll, I'll make this bigger so we can see here, we have something like GitHub. Pull pilot, GitHub pull requests, GitHub theme. We have GitHub code spaces. We have all, all kinds of GitHub actions, all kinds of things here, okay? So we're going to want to get the GitHub pull requests and we're going to click it. And notice here, these are kind of certified by uh, GitHub, okay? That's, that's a good thing. So we're going to install it. And again, notice here, it doesn't take hardly anything, and it gives us, while we look at it, it gives us a great idea here. We have Azure pipelines, we have all kinds of stuff, and I'll let you guys kind of read through that on your own, okay? <clears throat> now, uh, the next thing is we want to go on and clone up our repository, okay? So we can 
uh, click this little sidebar. So notice here, this is, if I hover over it, no, hover over it, let me close this. First. Hover over, it should say source uh, control, okay? So we're going, we're going to need that here in a minute. But if we go back to our repo here, we click the code. Notice here, there's this HTTPS, okay? Or we can go here and there's this SSH. This is the git at, okay? We can, uh, we can grab either of those. And again, here's also this GitHub CLI. Now, this you have to go through a couple more steps today. We're just gonna talk about using the HTTPS or the SSH. So go on and copy that to your clipboard, okay? Then we can go back over here to the command palette and we can do command shift E. And shift P, not wanting to pop up. Hmm. All right, so either you can hit Command Shift P, or you can also, uh, some computers will want you to hit F1 in order to get here. This is the command palette. Okay, so we open up the command palette and we want to, inside the command palette, we want to do git colon clone. And notice here we are, we can uh, click on that and then we want the repository name. Okay, and notice here we can uh, paste in that uh, folder here. We can hit enter. And then it's going to tell us, or it's going to ask us where we want this repository. So I'm going to click my documents, I'm going to create up a new folder and I'll just call this um, um, new folder. I'll, I'll actually delete it later on. So, and then I wanna select my repository destination for this. And then it says, would you like to open the clone repository? Go on and open it. Okay, and notice now we have everything inside of our folder here. So this is our git, this is my first repo. And if you notice, this is what we have over here. Okay, we could go on and maybe we want to change this because it doesn't look very pretty. So maybe we want this to be um, let's just say read me first. This is my first repo, and I want to learn to use GitHub. Okay, then we can save this. And if you notice, whenever I hit save, this popped up over here, okay? We can then make changes. So we want to create up a new commit message, and I can say um, edited the uh, readme md file uh, by adding a better title and another paragraph. And I can commit this. And then it asks you if you want to sync this. Well, I can go on and sync it. And this action, pull and push commits from main to origin, say OK. And again, you maybe say do not want to show it again because you'll be seeing this a lot. Now, if we go back over here, notice it hasn't changed, but if I refresh this, notice now it has updated with our changes that we have made to the source. Now we can also add in new files. So maybe if we want to add in an index.html, we can. So like if we're wanting to create up a new HTML folder, that's great. Uh, here we'll say something, uh, we can do a, script tag, and we'll call this um, script.js, that's fine. And then maybe we wanna add in another uh, JavaScript file, we can. And so here we can just say, uh, my first JS file. And maybe later on, you also want to add in a folder. So my uh, data folder. Okay, and so maybe inside that data folder, we want to add 
a some data.csv. And again, we can, I'll leave it empty for now, but notice there's been a couple things in here that we have uh, changed and maybe, let me grab just some random CSV file uh, data here. So maybe this is just like an industry list. I have, I just happen to have a list of industries here. And so now I've saved that to the industries. And maybe let's even add in here our log. Console log, um, just hello world. Okay, so now we have added all of these. Notice we have changed three messages. And let's say this is gonna be just our initial uh, commit for our index.html script.js and some data.csv. And again, you can be pretty long in your messages or whatnot, but usually just say kind of about what you did in each of them, just so that any time that you've wondered what you've done in the past or whatever you've done. So let's go in and commit this. Let's go in and save our changes. I'm gonna say, okay, don't show again because it's very annoying. It'll take it a second. We can go over here, we can refresh. Notice now we have all of these files where we can click them. We can see our code, okay, from each of them. We can even look inside here, look at our data, and notice it's all kinds of nice, fun stuff in here, okay? So you can see that you can do all kinds of things to make them beautiful, clean code, all of that type of stuff later on as well. So we'll go back to our code. We see that that's all there. Now let's see, we've, okay, so what we've done here is we have pushed our data, okay, from here, so we've committed it, we've pushed it, we've added it, it, auto, it kind of, VS Code kind of does everything for you here. Now, another thing that you could potentially do is you could, let's say that you're collaborating with someone, and let me go on, and I'm going to edit this and say, look, I've, added more code here, okay? And I'm going to just commit the message, updated uh, uh, the, the change. I'm going to do it here directly, okay? Now, here's, here's, here's the deal, okay? It has been edited here on GitHub, but it has not been edited here on our computer, okay? We have not done a uh, pull request to get the new information. So if we want to do that, okay, we're going to do our con uh, control shift P or our F1, and we want to do uh, get, and what do we want to do here? Uh, colon pull, okay, and notice, Look at that, it pulled in the changes. It even told us for a second there that this was gonna be the new code and we actually had any of that. Now, if there's gonna be conflicts, we may have to resolve conflicts, okay? Um, but again, we can leave that for some more um, complex stuff. So if you guys have been following along with this, congratulations, you guys have created up a GitHub repository. You have cloned it to your machine using VS Code. You made changes, you've committed those changes, and you've pushed them back to GitHub. And now you have a very powerful setup for managing your code and collaborating with others. So what would be some next steps that we could do? Well, continue exploring your GitHub features using branching, pull requests, and issue tracking. And I want you guys to familiarize yourselves potentially with GitHub commands and workflow to enhance your own version control skills. If you guys like this and you want more of this, please comment, subscribe, and hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.